to make the zip remember when we were drafting i told you that the length of the zip is eight inches or nine rather in length but about this trouser we're going to be making it six inches so you want to mark out your six inches and then also mark out half inch half of an inch you remember correctly when we were drafting it was half an inch allowance that we added so you want to make sure that you give a cut to that half inch just there like that then we're going to go back to our flap so these are our flaps remember one is two wide like this folded into two wide this other one remains like this now for this part of the flap i'll leave that first and work on this so for this part of the flap i'm going to turn our zip this way now i'm going to be measuring about one inch or one and a half inch somewhere there all the way down as a guide to place my zip on so this is a good face of the zip this is a good face of the flap so good face will meet good face and then i'll also stitch my zip all the way down mm. so i have placed my zip here I'm going to take this part over here. I'm going to take this part over here and sew it to this point. To be on the safer side, I'm going to turn it this way and start sewing this way so that I can see the point very well. Make sure that it's well placed. So, from exactly that point which I tore out, which I gave a notch, I start. Bring it down. So this is what you have. You want to go ahead and match it to the flap to secure that place. Don't match it to the main fabric. Match it to the flap. If you match it to the main fabric, by the time you turn it to the other side, the line will be visible on the fabric. You want to make sure that your zip, which is underneath, is not in the way. So remove your zip. Match it all the way so that it can relax properly. So this is what you'll be having here. Now I forgot to tell you for your flaps to make things easier, you're supposed to whip the edge edges of this your flap to secure the edges. But I'm going to be doing that after I finish making my trousers. So for ease, you may want to do that before you start making your trousers to make things easier for you. So now you want to take this other side, so this other flap, you also want to ensure that you draw a line where you'll be placing it to direct you, okay? So that line is where we'll be placing this one, this will make sure that the edges here are equal, then you take it over to your machine, and then you match it all the way down. So I'm going to this other side of the flap from this edge. I'm going to bend it in half inch, ensure that it's half inch all the way up, and then I'm going to stitch it on this part this way, like this. Ensure that the edges are equal and nothing is on the way. Remember, this other side I've taken it this way, then you sew it all the way down. So ensure. past that point there so the next stage now is to join the remaining part of your crush so you're going to turn it the next step now is to join the remaining part of your crush so you're going to turn it then you want to ensure that you mark out that half inch line that you got out before make sure that you start from there Make sure that everything is out of the way. Very start. Make sure you get the point exactly, so as not to have any squeezing or budge there when you turn. Okay. Then 
so you want to open here and you want to open the back as well make sure that here is flat now how many inches are you going to be joining this just half of an inch or maybe one inch not more than one inch remember the allowances you gave wasn't that much except to give above that so you start that all the way down a straight line all the way the down then you take it to this other side as well you turn it and then you sew all the way down as well do not try to sew from one leg the full length line at once make sure you start from the crotch to sew all the way down okay so after joining this down side the next thing we want to do now is to join the sides our shaping side now if you remember correctly to join our shaping sides now so you want to go ahead and take your material to the table to see your measurements if it's correct for our round lap if i remember correctly it's 11 and a half so you can see it's getting back to that one inch line that i initially took this is 11 and a half so this is 11 and a half here yeah? and our round waist is eight inches so from this middle point this deep side this is eight it's not quite showing that this is eight inches and for our hip it's nine and a half so you want to take make sure your hip first seven our hip, waist to hip is seven and on the hip line is nine and a half so you want to mark that draw that shaping then let it come over here and meet here then you take it that way all the way down what about our lower hip at our uh, flap at our knee curve above the knee take it to a seven and a half let's make it nine then we go all the way down so from here i'll just be using one inch to sew all the way down after doing this shaping the most important thing here is your waist your hip and then your lap and your crotch line it has to be fitted if your client is complaining of the leg being too wide you can always slim it so we go ahead and sew it all the way down so you want to ensure that both edges are well aligned well placed before you start sewing following this your shaping line all the way down so you sew it all the way down using one inch same allowance so you go over to the other side and you do the same thing to it you want to use this side to be on the safer side so from your waist to your hip is seven and on your hip line is for my clients here is nine and a half from here is nine and a half and the waist is eight from here this is eight I want to connect the lines together and for the round glass it's 11 and a half so you want to make your 11 and a half this way so you're going to be sewing there then the rest of this line will just go on this line one inch down so you want to since you'll be sewing from the down upwards you want to secure here very well consider how many inches allowance you took while cutting so for us we took two inches allowance when we were cutting so because this is an english mouth of course you should know what english mouth is i'm not going to be doing double bending here so i'm just going to be doing a single bend here and ensuring that it is two inches okay now you want to go ahead and iron this neatly so as to avoid issues but i can go ahead and sew without ironing please it's very good to iron your clothes when you are sewing it gives you a neat work 
and a very neat finishing as well. So I'm just going to go and hang and sew it all the way around. So I'll go ahead and do the same thing for the second leg. <laughs> 